Okay, so I've been testing out the Raspberry Pi 5 and it's been running really, really well. Uh, but what I thought I'd do is try and see if it would fit inside the Raspad 3. Now this is a tablet which is designed for the Raspberry Pi 4 and the configuration is different. So you can see the Ethernet connection is on the opposite side on the Raspberry Pi 5 here. So I'm going to see if it's going to fit inside. Also see if it powers it because it definitely needs a bit more power and it's whether or not the Raspad is up to the job. So let's shut down the Raspad and we press and hold to power off. I'm just going to restart it without the SD card in just to show what Raspberry Pi is in there at the moment. So it is a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gig in there. You have to be a little bit careful because I've got a camera connected on the back. Okay, so now at least we can see inside, so I don't need the camera cable anymore. Let's pull that one out. And we only need the two monitor supports if we're going to use the HDMI out, which I'm not worried about. So I'm just going to plug in one HDMI cable and the power uh, Ethernet probably will reach. Yeah, let's, so let's take the Pi 4 out first of all. And this is the little SD card slot here, which is a little ribbon cable. Uh, so USB out of there. And Ethernet. Let's unscrew these four. There we go. So SD card comes out. I'm going to have to take it out of the case that I've got it in. This is a Pi 4 one. I'll put a link in the description. At the time, it was the only one I had to fit, but I'm going to go through more cases to see if other things fit in there. Just remove the GPIO pins for the fan. And these pillars come off. So you can see they did a good job in keeping almost everything in exactly the same place, hole spacing and stuff like that. So let's give this a go. So it's a very short ethernet cable and the USB is pretty short as well. So USB 3, let's pop that one in first. And yeah, that's going to go. So whether or not it's long enough to reach the screw holes which I think it is. So SD card slot, new double speed SD card slot in the Pi 5. Yeah, screw holes, yeah, screw holes line up all right. Needs a little bit of a pull for this one. There we go, so far so good. So the I'm gonna leave this HDMI out and I'm just gonna plug this one in because this would normally be the main HDMI, the one next to the USB-C. I haven't really done extensive tests, but that's what it's always been like before. Uh, so let's just tuck that in. USB-C to USB-C. I think we're there because everything is really handled by USB connecting to this board and the SD card slot. Let's pop the lid back on. Pop the SD card in and power on for the first time. No cable always used to come up. Okay, so you can see that touchscreen is working, so if I hit the start button, and let's just go through a few things, Raspberry Pi diagnostics, uh, let's go accessories and imager. So you can see everything's working. Let's launch the Chromium browser. And, uh, oh, I need to install a keyboard app to be able to get an on-screen keyboard. This will obviously be better when we've got Android, but for the moment, now, have I got history on here? So at least I can use this. Uh, so BBC homepage, and we can scroll up and down. Oh, BBC, sign in. We can scroll up and down. We can zoom, and everything is nice and responsive. I need to have a look at my YouTube channel but I can't type anything in at the moment, so I'm gonna plug in a keyboard dongle. So this way around, you can see we've got accessible ports here. I didn't plug in that HDMI, but I'm sure it will work. So uh, let's pop this down and just do a search for Lee PSP video. And just go to my channel. 
yeah, it does feel nice and snappy. This is an early version of this operating system, uh, so it's some beta software really. Uh, it's the 13th of September, so this is way before the Raspberry Pi 5 has even been announced. But I just thought I'd be the first one to try out a tablet. And as you can see, all of that is working. If I do a search on my channel for 4K HDR, I can get my demo, or something went wrong there, but it still found it. And let's go full screen. And we'll go for 1080. Let's go back to the beginning. Got no volume, not sure. Oh, there is volume, I can hear it now. There you go, and that's playing nicely. So I'm pretty sure that is the first Raspberry Pi 5 tablet. I'll be doing loads more Raspberry Pi 5 videos. I've got a playlist with over 600 videos on Raspberry Pi alone, but uh, I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.